hey guys, you need to be able to balance equations efficiently, quickly and correctly. And I'm afraid the only way you can do this is just by practicing lots and lots and lots and lots. Um, so here is a video going through some quite hard examples for you. If you want more examples to practice, because I'm afraid that's really the only thing you can do, you can go to my website and get my work bit, which has loads of stuff in there to help for you. Okay, for the first couple, I'm going to walk you through it um, quite slowly, and then I'm going to get faster, mainly because you need to get faster as well. So, we draw a circle, we cannot change anything inside the circle. Draw a line, and then we list what we've got. Um, it makes sense to list things in the same order, just because it will make your life easier when checking. Um, one... Two, six, one, one, uh, one, two, one, three, one. Um, okay, so I need to add some more oxygen so I can add another one of those on to there. Um, so that is going to give me six, two, two. Um, okay, so we need to add some more um, KCL on. That is going to give me two and two two um, and then we need to write it out neatly to make the examiners happy if um, I was going a little bit fast for you there go and check out some of the videos on my um, GCSE channel where I do walk it through a lot lot slower but over here in A level land we need to be doing things quickly Okay, I'm going to do circles again for this one, um, just for those of you that haven't done this before, aren't very familiar with it, but it's the last one that I'm going to draw circles for. Carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, magnesium, carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen. At one, one, six, uh, one, one, one. Uh, carbon, one, oxygen, six, seven, eight, nine, two, two. Um, okay, so you can see I need to add some more nitric acid over here. So that is going to make that two, two, that is going to make that nine, and we're done. Okay, I don't normally um, draw circles around things, um, but listing things is always a good idea because that will help you stay on track of what you have and what you haven't um, got enough of. It doesn't take very long, but you can just do that on the side. Um, so hydrogens, three, sulfur, one, oxygens, five, sodium, one. Hydrogens, two, sulfur, one, oxygens, five, sodium, one. Um, so you can see I need some more hydrogen, so I need to add another H2O over there. So that is going to give me four, no, it's going to give me six, um, so I need to add, that should be a two, sorry. I need to add another one of these, which is going to give me two, six. and then we're done. Okay, let's have a little look at what we've got here. Um, so I'm going to do this much quicker because I don't generally draw everything out. I can see straight away that I've got three chlorines over here. So I'm going to pop a three in front of there. This is much more a trial and error way of doing it. I can see that I've got three, I've got six hydrogens over this side and I've got two hydrogens over that side. So I'm going to pop a three in front of there. 
Um, so I think my hydrogens are okay. I think my chlorines are okay. I think my aluminiums are okay. Uh, three oxygens, three oxygens. I'm done. Okay, last one here. Um, the only, only way you can get quicker doing this, and you have to be quicker doing this, um, is by practicing shed loads. Um, and the best way for you to do that, I think, is by popping over to my classroom channel. Um, right, so left hand side, chlorines three, right hand side, chlorines three, iron one, iron one. Um, hydrogens, left hand side, three, right hand side, uh, two. So I'm going to put a 2 in front of there. That increases the amount of chlorines. Um, that increases the amount of chlorine that I have. Um, so I am going to put a 2 in front of there. Then I'm going to put a 2 in front of there because I increase my amount of ions. So that gives me 2 six chlorines that gives me six chlorines that gives me two uh four hydrogens that gives me um and then sort out my oxygens i'm gonna put two in front of there okay so let's check that two oxygens two oxygens two oxygens two ions two ions uh, hydrogen six, hydrogen four, sorry, hydrogen four, chlorine two, six, chlorine six, and we're done.